Hey there, I'm Jen from Escapod Trailers, and we just wrapped up the Sea Otter Classic out here in Monterey, California. And we're going to give you a full walkthrough of the Tapo 2. So we will start up front here um, with the tongue box. We were able to integrate a tongue box into the design of this trailer, going to the single piece structural composite shell. We really wanted to make sure that we thought of every little detail. So we have quite a bit of storage space in here, uh, lid on gas struts. This is kind of an example of how you could set this up depending on you, what you want to bring on the road with you. The only thing that will be standard in here is the 11 pound propane tank. Uh, along with this l track there's also a rubber removable floor mat in here. Um, we have a 2,000 watt inverter along with us on this trip because we are testing uh, an AC unit uh, that does run on 12 volt system, but it drains the battery in four to six hours or so. So if you are going to run an AC, the backup generator is a great option. Um, coming around the side here took this as an opportunity to um, design our own doors. Oh my God, yeah, yeah. So we were able to make a beautiful door that is okay. um, quite a bit larger okay. than our door on the original okay, Taco. Okay, my mom. The other significant thing here is that we designed in molded gutters around all openings of the trailer. So around your doors, around the hatch, around the tongue box. So really just directing water, telling where water where we want it to go, which is staying on the outside of the trailer. Now, if you want to take a look inside, I'll go around the other side and talk you through the cabin space. So starting closest to the door there, you're going to get a look at what we are calling the mudroom. So at both entryway doors, you have about a five inch space here where you can hang your coat, stick bulky items that maybe got wet or dirty out in your day of adventure and fun. You also have a designated spot for your shoes. Getting in and out of a teardrop trailer, one of the questions you always ask yourself is, what do I do with my shoes? So we are happy and very excited to have a dedicated place for that. We're using HDPE along all of these exterior edges. Um, there's no structural wood in this trailer at all, but we do love the warmth of the Baltic birch. So you'll see those accents carried over from the original topo on the cabinet faces, um, as well as on the headboard over here and some decorative panels along the soft touch headliner. Um, on the opposite side of the mudroom, we have our nightstand. So you've got a cup holder up front here, a little storage cubby in here, wireless charging on the flat surface of the nightstand here and still have that USB charge port for you as well. Inside the headboard is an additional nearly five cubic feet of storage. So you can see not only is this fairly deep but um, <laughs> this direction, but it's also deep downward. So putting this pillow in here sits nicely. Great spot to store camp chairs, long um, objects that you're bringing with you while you're out at camp. Now interior, as we work our way into the center of this, we've got the systems monitor on here. So this unit is going to give you a readout on battery levels. It'll estimate the number of days on your battery that you still have left based on your current use, as well as the charge that's coming in from the solar panel. You'll also get a readout um, on internal and external temperatures, as well as tank levels. So this is for the 20 gallon water tank that we have that comes standard in every single top O2. We're currently sitting at 80, 87% there with 17.4 gallons left. Um, pretty nice feature in here. You've got all your switches along the center. Uh, in this trailer, we did put a, a 2000 watt inverter. That's an optional um, upgrade. You don't need to have the inverter. Uh, you will get 110 outlets in your top O2 with or without the inverter. If you don't have the inverter, you'll have to plug in through shore power in order to have pass through power to those outlets. Um, otherwise, if you want off grid access to 110 power, then you can add the inverter. And that just powers on simply from a switch inside of the cabin. Same thing with your interior lights. So we've got these really nice integrated lights up top here as well as exterior lights. So you've got your porch light on either side of the trailer um, in the entry doors. 
and then we added these rock rail lights so this is just some ground lighting really nice at, at night if you are just looking to make sure you can find your way back to the pod after that midnight pee break um a few other things that we carried over from the original we have always loved this drop down option having a place to put a laptop if you are waiting out a storm in the topo 2 you have even more space on this interior. We've added a two and a half foot by five foot wide stargazer window that does vent. This will come standard with a screen and a shade, so you don't have to worry about um, being woken up too early when the sun comes out, but you also get a really nice cross ventilation in the trailer. Um, I'm about five foot nine, okay, maybe five foot eight. Um, and sitting back here, my feet aren't even underneath the, the cabinet, so to give some scale here, we were able to bring the body of this trailer about a foot um, wider than the original because we brought it over the wheel wells, six inches on either side. So that allows us to fit a true queen size bed in here and still has room for the nightstand um, and the mudroom that we talked about earlier. So closing this up, a few more features, um, just cabinet space, I guess you probably can't see that side, so we'll open that here, um, similar on through all three of these cabinets, got an upper shelf on there, and then inside here is going to be your thermostat, your master power switch, and then the ZAMP 30 amp solar controller. Now that thermostat, you just set the temperature and the heat will kick on. Now one of the things that makes the Topo 2 so special is that all of the mechanical systems have been moved inside the trailer and situated um, right over the wheels. So really great positioning for anything that is super heavy to provide a really nice, smooth, even, stable tow. Um, so behind uh, here is what we're calling the utilities closet. Um, you do have your shore power port right there, so you can plug in and charge your battery or get that pass-through power to use those 110 outlets. And then we have the exhaust for the Truma Combi Eco Plus, which is a combination um, forced air cabin heater as well as water heater, which brings us back around to the galley. You've got a sink here with access to that hot water. Um, all you need to do to use the... Um, water system is turn on that pump and then you'll have access to the 20 gallons that are on board here. Uh, that unit, the Truma Combi, is situated behind this access panel. Now we also have this knife storage behind here. Um, when you are in transit, you'll just go ahead, cover that up with the cutting board. And the side table over here, you might have seen me walk by, that actually will collapse down and then stows in place as the cabinet face just drops in here and you secure it in place with these tabs. Um, cabinet faces, if you have used a trailer before, they usually just end up in your way when you're at camp. So we just repurposed it to give you a little bit more flat space. You can ha never have enough flat surface space when it comes to kitchens. Now up front here, we moved the uh, stove down, which allowed us to integrate a full-size sink. This is a nice and deep sink, so it's actually functional to do dishes in. Um, and then down here we have a two-burner ENO stove with recessed knobs. So you're not going to worry about your knob melting as your pans are heating up. Um, beneath the stove, we have additional storage for silverware, flatware, um, utensils, and such and still have plenty of space space up here for food storage dishes, pots, and pans. We've also made this center cabinet um, a modular unit so you can customize it based on what you want to bring out on the road with you. So these just slide in and out and can move through any of those positions there. Um, as for lighting in the galley, we have an LED light strip up top here, your white light, and then also a red light. So if you don't want to attract bugs, the red light is a great option there. Um, and then we did get a 75 liter Yeti uh, into, into this trailer. Uh, you can also fit an ARB 63 quart fridge freezer. This is on 500 pound locking door slides. So you just press those down. This locks out when you are using the cooler. Plenty of space in there for food, even once you get ice in there. Um, and this is one of the major uh, differences and upgrades from our original to the Topo 2, besides the construction, obviously. 
is that 63 quart fridge freezer. We could only fit about a 35 quart in our original, so we're super excited to be able to have a much larger capacity um, fridge in this trailer. As for options and upgrades, um, we will have a rock rail addition, so those will be bolt on into the trailer. You can see underneath the frame um, where those can be bolted in. We did carry over the side receivers. There will also be an option for um, a rear receiver so you can bring your bike rack with you as well, uh, which makes for a great great option for those mountain bikers among us. Um, and then, of course, is the free ride suspension system. So this trailer offers about a 23 inch uh, ground clearance, five inches of independent travel, wheel to wheel. Uh, what you're looking at is the standard wheel and tire setup. So you have the Manx 355 wheel um, and the grabber ATX um, all-terrain tire. Now, one final aspect of the Taco 2 that we haven't gone into depth on just yet is the body itself. We have constructed this trailer as a single piece structural composite shell. So it is done in one layup. So not only the fiberglass, but also the foam, foam core that gives it its structure and insulation. That is all one piece. We were able to really play with the shape here to give it a really nice aesthetic appeal. We added in some flat areas along the top here. This is called the Mohawk, where we have our roof racks, which do come standard in the top of two. And those can actually be uh, infinitely adjustable along this track here. So depending on what you're carrying on the roof, you can move those around. As I mentioned earlier, we were able to design in mechanical gutter systems into the mold itself. So you'll see around the hatch how water is designed to just flow down along here and then right off the trailer. You'll also note there are no seams along the roof line and the walls here, so concerns about any kind of leak in those areas are now gone. Um, the structural composite shell also allowed us to do things like a sink. When we had structural wood in our trailers, we opted to keep the sink as an external option and the water tank externally mounted with the composite we were able to bring all of the mechanical systems inside so that not only increases longevity of your battery during a single trip but over the life of the trailer it also allows for you to use your water system uh, year round and the shell we were able to mold in um, places for taillights so we could play with shape and form and custom create a lot of details for this trailer um, that weren't on the market before. You'll also see a 140 watt solar panel that does come standard on every Top O2. This will charge when it's plugged into the trailer and you're towing it behind your vehicle. It's also removable with a little oil stand and a 12 foot extension cord so you can park your trailer in the shade, position that in the sun, and charge up the lithium battery that is on board your Top O2. So head on over to escapod.us and learn more about this new product.